recording as well. So yesterday we have seen the online items and online content, correct? Those are the different things, okay? So using the align items, we can align the elements within the parent element. In this align content, we are aligning with the lines, okay? And this way we are aligning the horizontally. Okay. So now let's proceed. We can make a content perfect center vertically as well as horizontally. Okay. So this is the very another important topic that we're going to see today. So the concept remains same. So we need to give the display flex and the height to the parent element. Okay. And we need to give the justify content as a center and align item as a center. We have seen both the properties. Justify content center will show the horizontally center while align items make it center vertically, correct? So we can make a perfect center. Let's go and see that. So let's create a parent view here and let's create a child view. Uh, we can say perfect center, okay? Mm. Let's add a class perfect center content, right? And as we know, we copy this class first of all, we'll add a background color, okay? Just to see the background of this. So let's take any background little bit different this time and uh, let's I add a height let's say 300 pixel okay not PC so PX and then uh, display this property is much needed display flex then we'll add a align item center justify content center okay so by using these both properties, we can make our div as a perfect center, okay? So let's add this class and this combinator. We have a child div. So first of all, we will see the content in the web page, okay? So let's refresh this page and see. It's perfect center getting, but we haven't given any height and that's the reason it is getting stretched, okay? So let's add a some background color for this box. So we'll, we'll make it white background and we'll add a height as a, uh, let's say 200 pixel, okay? Uh, we, we can add a padding also, padding, let's say 20 pixel on size. These are the extra additional properties, okay? but we are not adding the margin here. See, we can see this perfect center. Let's reduce the height little bit so that we can see it more clearly. See, it is, it is the perfect center because here we can see the space above and below are the same. Space left and right are the same, correct? So this way we can make our view as a perfect center. So this question might be asked you uh, at the time of the interview multiple times, how to make a view perfect center. So there are a couple of ways we can make the uh, view as a perfect center, but this is the one of the one, okay? And this is the very easiest way as we know the, we can leverage the flex box as well. And then this is the, uh, this is also support the, responsiveness correct so any any questions here no sir now we going to see the flex items okay this is another we before we have seen flex container now we're going to see flex items okay so in this flex items we can order the content, we can 
we can add a flex grow flex ring flex align cell these are the properties that we can uh, work with the flex container so earlier we have seen flex container but here flex items but this this class remains same i just taken the class name so don't confuse with this class name okay so let's see this the direct child element of a flex container automatically becomes flexible flex items now previously we have seen we can make the parent as a flexible so that its content always be flexible now we can say that we are making the children's as a flexible i mean we we are applying these properties to the children of the parent container so that it will be also flexible it will grow it will shrink it will align self it will also flex so that it will uh, get those effects then we can also add the order okay which order we wanted to maintain on the web page so this is also kind of very helpful so let's see one by one uh, so first of all we see the order property okay order property specifies the order of the flex items so let's consider here we are taking the parent element and there are the three four child elements okay we know right we whatever the order here we can see that's the order should be gets printed on the web page right so let's see we are saying first child second child third child fourth child this will be gets printed as it is because we are adding the flex container as well and this order is the correct order in the html as well but using the order property we can change that order okay so we can add a styling either we can add a class or we need to add the styling eventually to that class but here we just adding the inline styling just to understand here is a property called order and we can change the order so that the final order will get changed onto the web page also okay so let's go and add that so i'm copying this just to save a couple of time right. format document little bit uh, we can say flex item content container okay as we know we need to give the same property like display flex to the parent right there is no compromise in in, in the that property even if we are aligning the element or or the children content okay so display flex will remain there since we working with the flex boxes we'll add a background color just to see the parent let's say f1 okay uh, then definitely we need to create a arrangement for the children but let's see how this works so we can say content a b c d e f okay So let's refresh this guy. We can see this is the content A, content B, content C, content E, content F. Correct? We haven't given any background, we haven't given anything so that it's getting displayed as it is. So let's copy this parent class and use a combinator to just add a couple of properties for the children. So we'll add a background color as a blue then uh, we'll add a color as a white let's say and just to uh, give the color for the test okay margin we'll give the width as a hundred pixel we'll give the margin 10 pixel each side 
uh, then font size it's not necessary but we are adding font size 20 pixel and we can say is ka jo text hai wo bhi center mein dikhna chahiye jo bhi hum logo ne likha hai on the content, content bhi right and again we'll give the line height like 80 80 pixel okay let's try this see what is happening we can see the content as it is and content a content b content c content e and content f correct now we wanted to change the order like this way so we'll go there <laughs> Individually, we wanted to change the order. So here we can use the instead of class, we can use the inline CSS, correct? Don't waste the class because this is the very special case. We wanted to give the separate order for the each elements. That is the reason we are adding this uh, order. Here we have added the order for the each and every element. So let's see. So we wanted to give the order first to the last element so that the first last element will display the first. Then, uh, of course, we need to add the order property right here. I made the mistake. Uh, then we wanted to add order for this E. order one okay so order will start from the one it's not starting from the zero like our array index get started correct so we need to keep that thing into the mind so let's add order two this is the one but it will display at the second position okay and uh, rest of the order will print as it is three order four and order five okay let's see the effect see the position is getting interchanged right so this this was the last element while it is getting displayed as a first this was the uh, this was the first element but it is getting displayed as a second position and the rest of the elements are the same b c e correct because we have given such an order here we can change order from here also without changing the hierarchy into the into the html we can change the order by using this order property using the flex container and flex boxes correct it's very simple getting this yes sir okay now uh, we are good for the order text grow property we wanted to see the next one so we can we can grow the flex we can reduce the size of the flex right while we resizing the window correct or while we're displaying it onto the web page without giving the percentage width and height, right? So we, we wanted to grow the content automatically by giving this flex grow property, okay? So let's see. The flex grow property specifies how much a flex items will grow relative to the rest of the flex items. Ye jo grow hota hai na with the flex grow property. Ye relatively grow hota hai with the other elements. I mean, it will consider what will be the value for the other elements also while considering this and growing this. So it is saying it is given as a one, one, and here it is given eight. So it will grow and accordingly to this value. Okay. The value must be a number and default value is zero. Okay. Value number only chahiye and default value is zero. Okay. So let's see this. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. We'll quickly copy this and uh, we'll simply paste it here. Okay. 
so now, now we are saying flex uh, grow not a container flex grow right so let's copy this guy and go here again we need to write the display as a flex okay uh, then we need to introduce one more property here which is align item stage okay so this will help to stage the content since we are dealing with the content right like earlier i said here we need to give the background color just to understand the background so we'll give the uh, kind of this blue color okay and same way we have to give the for its children okay now here we need to give the margin 10 percent pixel then uh, color will be white just to mention the color for the content we'll give the color code properly we'll say those are the content that should get center correct then uh, we'll also give the font size as a 20 pixel then we will give the line height okay. 75 percent 75 okay so let's refresh this guy we also need to give the background color so we'll give the background color as a kind of this okay so now what happened this is getting stretched okay because why because we have given that property like flex grow one flex grow one and flex grow eight so this eight is taken according to this one and two because we have given the one one to this so it will consider the rest of the elements while growing right using the flex grow property let's we give the here the zero so what will happen let's see it is taken taking zero okay and so in this second element width also increased because it is considering the first element and increasing accordingly here also we can say height width is increased little bit correct so let's say give the same property like five five and let's give the zero what happened these both are taking the same width while this is taking the zero width and let's give here two so now we can see this is taking little more here it is taking the same but it is reduced as compared to the earlier correct so this is this will grow according to these values and also consider the rest of the elements while growing so again uh, i will reiterate so we need to give the display property we need to give the align item stage because we wanted to stage that content okay suppose we remove this it will not get stage correct stage means it is getting stage like this way even if it is a div correct even if it is a black block level element using this display and align item stage property we can grow and shrink the element using the flex grow property okay similarly we can shrink as we seen we can grow similarly we can shrink also okay so the flex shrink property specifies how to how much the flex item will shrink okay relative to the rest of the flex items okay the value must be a number default value is one here 
earlier the default value was 0 here the default value is 1 because we wanted to shrink if we give on the 0 value it will shrink and it will not show the content as well because it will take that much width very lesser width so the default flex value is the one here at least we can see the content and uh, we can give the any number to the rest of the elements okay so let's see uh, how this works so again i will I'll give the same properties. Uh, let me go here. So we'll, we'll make a separate one. Okay, don't copy this time. Class, let's shrink. Container, correct. Here we can make a div. Okay, so here we can say uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we wanted to display this kind of content. Let's add one more. Nine and ten. Correct. So this is the parent container. Okay, so the properties will remain same. We'll need to add a display as a flex. Correct. We need to give the align item stretch property. This will be very important while growing and shrinking. And rest we will give the background color little bit different red this time wanted to format this okay so we just selected all and formatted the document and again we will copy this we wanted to see some width we we'll add the combinator greater than div so div is the inner elements then we add a background color to the, to the white we can say color will be black okay and uh, width will be 100 pixel okay Yaparam will be there, okay. Then I will say text align will be center, line height will be 70 pixel, let's say, and font size will be 20 pixel again, okay. We'll give the margin as well, margin will be 10 pixel. that's it right so what happening each elements is getting displayed with the height of width of uh, 100 pixel correct line height should should little high so what we left we haven't given the padding No, no, no. Here we have given the line height will be 75 pixel, let's say. Okay. That is the reason it is not getting the applied. See, we have given the line height, we have given the width, and each element is taking the same width. But we wanted to now apply the string property. Okay. So let's add a string property to any element. Let's say uh, we'll give the string property to the third element or fourth element, let's say, okay. 
So we'll add a style since this is a special property, okay? For that element, that's the reason we are adding the inline styling here. Flex shrink and we are saying let's shrink to the zero. Okay. Why well, this is taking? Sir, वो semi colon बाद में चाहिए था क्या apostrophe के बाद? नहीं नहीं सेमी कॉलन दिया तो भी चलता है नहीं दिया तो भी चलता है दैट्स नॉट द प्रॉब्लम आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग द प्रॉपर्टी सेम टू जीरो एक्स कंटेनर एक्स कंटेनर हैविंग डिस्प्ले एज अ फ्लेक्स अलाइन आइटम्स पेज एंड बैकग्राउंड कलर दिस एंड वी विल गिव ऑन द विड्थ 100 पिक्सेल Line height, text align center, and this one. This should get flex. white is not getting applied because of the width property it should get applied right yahan par kuch miss kar raha hu kya main flex container Flex string correct zero. We are giving the style. Width is very necessary. कुछ फर्क ही नहीं पड़ रहा है उसको. यहाँ पर दिया है कि मैंने हाँ यहाँ पर तो सही चला हुआ राइट श्रिंक शीरो डिस्प्ले फ्लेक्स राइट 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 we don't need this property still it is not What is the reason this is not taking display flex? Yeah, on color this, and this is the
to their work will happen. That is, should not affect. Color will be needed. Background color also needed, right? Here also we have given the same thing. Width 200, margin 5 pixel. That's it. So here it is taking. Here it is shrinking because if we see, we have given the width for each element, but it is shrinking. Correct? Shrink zero means it is not shrinking and it is taking the whole width by considering the rest of the elements. It should be taken here. Nothing is changed, right? Don't understand what is happening here. Don't understand, but I, I can explain here. So here also we have did the same thing. We have taken the flex container, given the display flex and background color, and just declared the couple of child children. Okay, and just given the shrink as a zero to the three. Here we can increase that shrink value and it will behave accordingly. Let's see if I increase this. So it is shrinking that way. Okay, if I make it zero. It will not shrinking and it will take the whole width. I mean as much as width by con uh, comparing with the other elements. Okay. So if I give the same styling to this four. So shrink. Let's shrink. If I give the so both the with both the elements taking the same width while the rest of the elements taking the same width. Okay. So this width, this width, this width. If we, if we see the width of this each element, it is, it is 100 or width 200 pixel, okay? If I remove this, it will not take anything. All the properties gets removed. But if we give the width, then and then it will get applied. Here also it will get applied, but I don't think so. Just taking the same. Zero. Oh, it's changing, but not able to understand what is the. Oh, it's it's getting applied now. How come? Okay, okay, okay. This time we need to use a little bit more element. Now we see the different, right? So this this three is shrinking more as compared to others. But okay, even if I have given the width as a hundred pixel, right? If we give the width as a two hundred, we can see the more different, right? Suppose we make this as a zero, so it will take the more width, right? This is working right now. So since we have taken the very lesser element and the 